Good morning, y'all. I'm Onyx Nova. Welcome back to my channel. Um, for those of you who are here for the first time, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that bell to get the post notifications every time that I post. Um, you might as well become, become a part of the family. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just is what it is. You might as well just join. Um, for those of you who are returning back, welcome back. Welcome back, family. Glad to have you here. Okay, so today's video is gonna be it's gonna be a quick little snippet. It's gonna be real quick. Well, yeah, could be real quick. Um I am currently in my work clothes, so that means I'm on my way to my job. So before I get there, I need this video to be done. So it may be rather quick. Um, but real quick though, on yesterday I was I was scrolling on my Facebook page and it was brought to my attention that a young lady had been raped and she finally built up the courage to come out and tell her story or to basically put a name with the face of the person who who uh, uh, violated her and in doing so she had so much backlash of people telling her she was lying oh you you lying I was there if you weren't in the room baby you can't tell her what happened in that room but that's neither here nor there um basically mo I saw more comments stating that she was lying and that she needs to, uh, they homeboy wouldn't do no mess like that and all this other stuff. First of all, you don't know what your homeboy would do when you're not present. Second of all, you're putting too much trust in people to sit there and say, oh, my homeboy would never. What's going to happen when your little girl, if your little girl comes to you and tell you, daddy, so-and-so touched me. You're going to say, nah, not my homeboy. Nah, not my brother. Your grandfather wouldn't do that. Like, my nigga, this is, this is real life shit. Like, family members and best friends do stuff like that to people sometimes. When they're sick and twisted in the fucking head and they can't wrap their head around oh she said no or maybe the little the little girl didn't want this you know what i'm saying they do stuff like this so you're putting a little bit too much trust in your homeboys and whoever else around you like i said if you can say your homeboy didn't do it when you have a child and your child comes to you and tell you that so and so touched me or so and so did this this that and the third to me you may sit there and say nah he wouldn't do that either you know what i'm saying you need to reevaluate how you're thinking about it and thirdly, people really tried to tell her what happened to her and was all in her inbox trying to ask her questions about recanting, re, uh, going back to the night that the situation happened. First of all, nobody's a detective. The worst thing that a female will ever ha should ever have to do is recount her violation. You know, nobody wants to keep remembering that over and over again. That's how you create PTSD as well. Not alone, let alone the incident creates ptsd but you got to constantly go over and over and over and repeat this to everybody who don't believe you what are you asking the question for if you already don't believe her let it go if you don't believe her fine but guess what if she got a rape kit the rape kit will detail exactly what happened um and another thing like everybody who's raped don't go to the cops everybody who's raped don't don't tell somebody they were raped Everybody who was molested, don't tell somebody that they were molested. It took me years to come out to my mama and tell my mama, oh, such and such did this to me. And then she still don't even know about a whole the whole other person that did some stuff to me because I was too scared to come out and tell her that. And then I saw her reaction after I told her about the first person. So that played a, a whole a whole nother thing in my head as to, oh, I can't go tell her nothing. So, you never know why somebody didn't go to the cops. First of all, we're black in America. The last thing a female wants to do is, an African-American female is, go to the cops and then the cops start treating her like she's the suspect instead of the victim. Well, maybe had you not been here, or maybe had you not done this, why were you out this such and such time of night? Why were you at a party with all these people, da, 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 when you don't even hang out with... That's neither here nor there. Don't treat... They, first of all, the police can be so freaking crooked sometimes and a lot of times they add to the turmoil instead of trying to de-escalate and trying to to render a, a some kind of help you know what i'm saying like they got to go through all these scenarios or if she's lying and this is that and the third and before they can even they even take into consideration to arrest somebody or to even go question somebody so for those of the, the people that i saw on the post that were going in on her the people that made fun of it the, the people that sat there and laughed like it was so fucking funny like for a man to have to get a woman drunk to the point where she's she's not there mentally like she can't 
think straight for herself. For a man to have to get a female drunk to have sex with her, let that sink in. You literally had to get a female that drunk to screw you. Does that make you feel like a man? Because if it does, then you need you you really need psych, psychiatric help. Like something is seriously wrong with you. First of all, if she's incompetent, if she can't even comprehend what the fuck is going on around her, or if she can't even sit there and, and tell, if she can't even tell you no, but you know she don't want it, and you can sit there and have sex with her, if she can't even respond to you, like to even push you off, if she, if she, she's just limp, like she can't do nothing, how can you even get off on that? How can you even, how can you have sex with somebody who's not even into it? First of all, you can say, well, her vagina got wet. First of all, a vagina is going to get wet regardless. A vagina is going to get wet if you shave it. A, a vagina is going to get wet if the panties rub against it the right way. So, I mean, you sitting there talking about, oh, she she got her, she she was wet. That, that, that don't mean nothing. That does not mean she's into it. That does not mean she wants you. Like, you got to come come up with better, come better than that. You can't do shit like that to people. That is rape. That is rape. Whether it's medication, whether it's sleeping pills, whether it's, it's, it's pills period whether it's lean whether it's alcohol no matter what it is it, as long as it's a substance and she's not in her right state of mind to comprehend really to tell you yes or no the answer should automatically be no you shouldn't even be interested why first of all you should sit there and think to yourself why do i have to get her drunk or why do i have to get her high or intoxicated in order to make it where she can have sex with me you know what i'm saying like you got to reevaluate yourself, man. Like, and it ain't even just men. Like, I was watching another boy live yesterday, and I cut it off because it registered so much to me. Like, you got females out there, older ass females, preying on these young boys, talking about, "Oh, I'ma be your first. Like, that shit is something to brag about. Boosie made this shit okay recently when he sat there and said he went and got all these older women to have sex with his young boy, his teenage his teenage boy, when he was just what thirteen. He made it seem like that shit was okay. I had to put my my daddy in check. When he told me when my nephew turned nine, he was going to get him some head. The fuck you will. No, the fuck you won't. You will not do that to him. When he decides to have those kind of encounters, he will have those, those types of encounters. And it won't be with a grown-ass fucking woman. That's child molestation. Shit like that make me wonder about niggas. Like, how can you even put that in your head to think that that's okay? In the black community, yeah, y'all want to laugh and giggle about it, but that shit is it's child molestation. Like you over here downplaying another parent because they chose to do whatever with their child for trying to transform them into a transgender or whatever. But then you sit here and you you come out on camera and you admit that you let your child have sex with a 19-year-old or a 20-something-year-old woman at the age of 13. You paid for him to get some. That's twisted. But that's another story for another time. It is rape. Regardless of how you look at it, regardless of how you want to say it. And the worst thing for a person to do is come up with their story and have everybody and their mama come against them and tell them they wrong. Or tell them they lying. How? Why? Were you there? I don't give a damn if she dressed like however she dressed, if she dressed provocatively. I don't care if she comes out her mouth sideways all the time saying little slick stuff. That does not give a man the right to come to her and take what's hers. At all. Period. I had somebody on my timeline on Facebook. I had to unfriend him after a while because I realized his way of thinking is it, it doesn't it just doesn't sit well with me. He had the nerve to say when I posted the picture, I said that the way she's dressed does not mean, hey, take 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 what's mine. He said because she's dressed that way, that's exactly what's gonna happen. And there ain't no harm in doing so, basically. Basically she wasn't she was wrong for dressing the way she was dressed. And men should know. And, and because she was dressed the way that she was dressed, it made it okay for a man to violate her, to grope her, to touch her, to fondle her. It made it okay for that in so many words is what he told me. And the shit pissed me off so bad. I had to, I, I said what I said and then I had to end the conversation because I realized I was beating a dead horse when I kept saying stuff to him. And he kept trying to justify why he was thinking that way. Nigga, you got daughters in this world. You got kids. Like... So your daughter dress decides to dress whatever way she's comfortable and because she's showing skin or she's showing her body parts that makes it okay for a man to come and touch her or to take her into an alleyway and rape her and just take what's basically hers. She has no right to dress how she feels like dressing. She has to justify that. Oh, I'm not a whore. I just like to dress how I dress. 
No, she dressed how she dressed because she's comfortable in whatever skin she's in and she wants to show whatever she got. And that's hers to show. Whether you agree with that or not, that's completely on your ass. But that doesn't give you grounds to go and try to touch her or rape her or do whatever to her. That's how grown men say about little girls who wear tight clothing. Oh, well, she wanted it because her clothes were so tight. She was always doing this and she was always doing that. No, bitch, that's your sick wit. Your, your, your sick it. I can't even get it out. Your wicked way of thinking. That's your sickness in your fucking brain telling you that it's okay for you to look at a child. I don't give a fuck what she got on. Does that negate the fact that she's still a child? Bitch, you attracted to a whole child. How, Sway? How? Ain't nothing about that sitting radars, radars off to your head telling you, oh, something might be wrong with me. You're attracted to a kid. But never mind, that's another story that's neither here nor there. Back to the young lady. My sympathy goes out to you. I, I pray that you get justice. I pray that whoever the guy was, because you called his name, whoever he was, he doesn't get away with doing this to nobody else. Because in the comments, a few other girls came out and said, yeah, he did this to me too. Or yeah, this happened to me too. I hope all of you guys, all of you ladies get justice. I hope somebody put a stop to the bullshit because it's only a matter of time before he goes and do it to, a, do, do it to somebody else. Like you should never be at a college party and have to worry about somebody taking advantage of you. In no certain, in no kind of way. Like, I saw this girl be raped on camera. The shit was on camera. And people still came out their mouth and said she was lying. Well, you can clearly hear her in the video telling him no. But he hadn't dropped something in her drink to the point to where she was try she was saying no. But in to some it may be inaudible. But I, nigga, I know no when I hear no. She did not want it. You know what I'm saying? But people were still telling her she was lying. It was on camera. She kept telling him to stop. She kept saying no. And he continued, baby this, baby this, baby this. No, you can't baby nothing. You didn't even know she was recording. That's why you sat there and you, baby this, baby this. Because you're trying to calm her down. Trying to not make a scene. When you over there raping her. In the bushes. Drug her to a bush and raped her. Like this shit is not cool. It's not cool. And for niggas who sit there and say, no, it didn't happen to you. You're the main reason. You, you, you're, you're the problem. You're the fucking problem. I, I I pray to God that he has mercy on your soul because that karma thing hit different. And sometimes it don't hit you directly, but it'll hit the people around you. So you got to be mindful of the things you say to people, even in their, in their turmoil. Like, you don't know what that young lady was going through. You don't know what she went through. But for you to sit there and tell her, no, it didn't happen to you, shame on you, man. You got to be ashamed of yourself. Like, I can't make this shit up. It's freaking sad. But I'm in this video because I need to go in here and pick up my my uh my duty weapon. And yeah, it's gonna be more videos coming because this right here just started me in a whole nother light. Like I can't make this shit up. Ladies, if you've ever been touched and you know you didn't want to be touched, if you're a child and you've been touched and you know you didn't want to be touched, whether you wanted to or not, whether it was if, if it wasn't consensual, you need to tell an adult. You need to get to somebody. Yeah, granted, they may not believe you, but baby, you need to tell somebody. You didn't do nothing wrong by telling them. They did. They wronged you when they didn't believe you. Touching you, period, anywhere on your private areas. Your breasts, your 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 genitals, like whatever. Yeah, you're behind. Like it's not okay. You need to talk to somebody. You need to tell somebody. I'm gonna wrap this video up because, like I said, I need to go in here and get my stuff. Um, for more videos like this, give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. And if you have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that post notification bell so you can be notified that every time that I post. And, um, yeah, stay tuned for more videos. This video will be coming today. I'm going to post it today because I, I keep recording and holding on the videos and then they never get uploaded. So I need to, I need to do better. So today you will get this video right here. Um, and a little bit later, I plan on working on another piece another video that has been laying on my heart and I need to get it off um I don't know if YouTube is going to allow me to keep it up but it's coming stay tuned